Tonight, 119 cases have been dropped in Jackson County. This after video footage of a former sheriff's deputy allegedly planning evidence was released. As we told you last week, Zach Wester has been fired for alleged misconduct. Tonight, News 13's Ashton Williams says one man is coming forward to tell of his encounter with the former deputy. In April 2017, Jason Sherrod went to check on his brother whose house was being searched by law enforcement. Before he knew it, he was being arrested himself. I was on my knees. The other officers bum rushed me and handcuffed me. And at times, Zach Wester came around and put his knee uh, in my neck and started rubbing it on the gravel at my brother's house. Sherrod claims Wester also punched him in the face at least three times before putting him in the back of his patrol car. At the time of his arrest, Sherrod worked at the Florida State Hospital. Because of the charges against him, he was terminated from his job. I'm a good human being. I help anybody in the world. I don't deserve that, and I didn't deserve that. And that man, he's going to pay for what he did. Sherrod says he spent two days in county jail and was released on bond, but he still felt locked up. I couldn't even get out of the house for almost six, seven months. I could not leave my house because of repercussions due to Zach West because I knew he was a dirty cop. Wester is now under investigation by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement for allegedly planning evidence during traffic stops. In September, Sherrod's charges were dropped. He says he feels there's a weight lifted from his shoulders and he hopes others get justice as well. I just seek justice for others just like me that's out there. You know, and I wish they'd stand up because this man hurt a lot of people's lives and cost a lot of people a lot. In Jackson County, Ashton Williams, News 13. There is no comment tonight from the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, the State Attorney's Office, and the FDLE. Wester's attorney also previously declined to comment because of the ongoing investigation.